Good evening and welcome to my hobby bench and another episode of Inch and Talk. So tonight's episode I'm going to be talking about three 120 size four stroke engines and the first I'm going to talk about is the one that you're seeing on the table here right now. This is the OSFS 120 Surpass 3 with a pump that I acquired from Chris from Perky Plains RC YouTube channel. So this is a heavily traveled engine being featured several times, multiple times on his channel and my channel. So this is a, a pretty heavily traveled engine. So those of you that watched that series on this, he had sent it to me for me to evaluate and see if I could figure out why it wouldn't run or if it would run or whatever because he got it. He acquired it on a, I think it was a big uh, Stinson ARF. Well, he did a complete series of videos where he disassembled this engine, cleaned it up, and installed Boca bearings in it. And then he did a couple of where he tried to run it, and it just wasn't running right. So he sent it to me. Long story short, I did some videos on it. They're very well documented here. I determined that, well, I saw, not determined. One of the issues was that this cover on the regulator was just leaking like a sieve. Now I took the thing apart, it looked fine inside, all that good stuff. It just leaked. Lots of people had lots of suggestions and none of which would have panned out anyway. So I figured the only way to get this engine operational is to actually purchase a new carburetor, which is what I did for this. Now I got this particular whole carburetor, complete carburetor, from RC Japan. Now RC Japan also sold just the body less the throttle arm and high-speed needle, but it, it included an entire regulator, but I figured why not just pay for the entire thing, and the entire thing took nearly a month to get, and it cost me $91. Now you could have, I did look and find this exact carb hold just like this on an eBay site called Hop Me Up, and they had it listed for $163, and I thought at the time I was looking for this that I might have even seen a Horizon Hobby listing, and it was like $140. So I saved $50, $40-$50 by going through RC Japan, but the thing was you order something from RC Japan and it's very slow in getting here. In fact, the reason this was so slow was they had it on hand and I selected Japan Post to mail it because it was the least expensive option. Well, it turns out Japan Post isn't is suspending or canceling or whatever shipping small items to the United States. So Japan Post, when they got possession of it, they sent it right back to RC Japan. I get an email from them saying, hey, sorry for the delay. We're going to send this FedEx if you approve. And I said, I approve. And they didn't charge me anything for it. So buying anything from RC Japan, unless you're buying a whole bunch of stuff and it comes to a lot of money, a lot of money, is probably not going to be profitable or you know very good anymore because of the fact that Japan Post is not sending things to the United States. So anyway, so the the issue or not the issue, the point of me talking about these three engines here and I'll get to the other two eventually is that this one Chris took apart and I don't think he had an ultrasonic cleaner installed bearings, but I was considering maybe doing the same thing just taking it all apart again very carefully taking the bearings out or maybe not i don't know just maybe take the crankshaft out and if the bearing stays on it that's fine but and cleaning this thing in the ultrasonic to get it looking a little bit better instead of taking my time and you know scrubbing it with a toothbrush and stuff because that's just not as effective because the reason i would probably be doing that is because hey i like to have nice clean engines in nice working order but I'm gonna sell out of the three engines on the table here at least two of them are up for sale I'm not sure which so let's move to the next 124 stroke engine and that's one that I just recently put out a video on this was this is the original OS FS 120 Surpass E non pumped engine I just did a video on this um, where I disassembled it and I disassembled it because I'm going to be doing a Boca bearing installation, uh, removal and installation video. And then, so this thing has already been cleaned up. Oh, it hasn't been cleaned. The crankcase hasn't been cleaned, but everything else has been cleaned up. This was an incredibly low time engine, and so I'm either I'm going to keep one of the OS engines, more than likely. I just don't know which one right now, and it kind of depends. The decision on that really kind of depends on 
interest that people have if somebody has interest in this engine or this engine. I don't have a problem keeping this engine because now I have a diamond in the rough. I've got a brand new carb, which I guarantee you, I know that the pump works, so I guarantee you this thing is gonna operate perfectly now that it's got a new carb. I can prove that by putting the carb on there and doing some runs with it after I clean it, if that's what you desire. Otherwise, if you're interested in that engine and you want it as is, I can just leave it as is too. So this is the second engine and it's a beautiful engine. I've just ordered some new gaskets for it. I've got a set of Boca bearings for it. And this thing is gonna be a beautiful engine. The third 124 stroke is this one. And this is an Inya R120. Now, this was an engine that I got months ago from a friend of mine, Chuck, to refurbish and put new bearings in it. But he got it for a really good price, apparently, but it was really damaged. It had a lot. It didn't have an a Inya carb on it. I mean, you can go back and try and find the video I did on that and look at that. It had all kinds of issues. It, it had ingested a bearing at one point because the connecting rod shows evidence of that. I mean, it's just all chewed up. So he said, when I told him all the bad news about this engine and, and timing gears were eaten up, he said, just keep it. And then he ended up sending me another engine and he said, this is my payment for servicing this other engine, which I just did. What I have done to this, and, and so in the meantime, Chuck went and I had about six or seven parts. You can see all these new packages, connecting rod, I've got them. I had purchased a bunch of Inya parts in a Facebook Marketplace deal. So I have, and most of the parts I got were for an Inya R120, which was unbelievable. I mean, even bearings, Inya bearings right here. Here's one of the Inya bearings I'm gonna be using. So I got a lot of parts for this. Chuck went and bought a whole new carb, timing gears, and various other parts. In fact, I think, yeah, here's here's a the Boca bearing kit part for the uh, timing case. I'm even putting a new timing cover on it. So I mean, this engine is, is gonna get a new connecting rod. Anyway, it's gonna have a lot of new parts on it. But I just sent this off to my friend Jay and had him do his vapor honing cleaning on it. So this thing, the crate, crate case looks like a brand new engine now. And it's going to look, I just wish I had sent him the exhaust, which I didn't do. The crankcase, intake manifold, the head, connecting rod have all been vapor honed and look like brand new pieces. So I'm not saying this is gonna be a new engine because the piston and ring, I might even have a replacement ring that I'll be putting on this. I don't know that, I already have the original Inya 120, not the R120. I know they're two totally different engines. The R120 is much more sought after much more powerful and much larger because the standard Inya 120 fits into the same case as the Inya 91 four cycle. I have one of those in the box. I've got a 91 four cycle. I don't necessarily need this one. So like I said, the point of this video is to kind of give you a status update on some of the projects I've got going on and to let you know that these, at least two of these engines ideally will be sold. And if not, they'll just sit here, you know, and hoping that somebody would buy them and they can go fly in an airplane someday. So that is our engine talk video for today. Like I said, you know, I have the, a very, it was a, I think it was a new Inya 124 cycle. It's called a 124 cycle. That's what this case says also, but this is still a one, it's a R120. And I mean, maybe I keep this one and sell the other Inya 120 four cycle, four C engine that's in the same case as the 91. So, I mean, if you're interested in any of either of these engines or whatever, just email me. I'm not accepting comment. I'm not in doing any kind of business in the comments of videos at all. I don't do that. So if you're interested in negotiating a price or just deciding what I'm gonna you know, charge for these engines, Send me an email. Keep in mind, I traded a brand new OS FS120 Surpass E engine for this. I invested another $91 for a brand new carb. So go figure with that one. 
this in your R120, brand new, these are selling for way over $350. I probably wouldn't be coming close to charging that even though there's all kinds of new parts in it. So who knows? Anyway, that's our engine talk video for today. If you're interested in a really nice 120 size four stroke engine, shoot me an email.